Um, let's move on to our next agenda item, which is introductions and presentations. Let me get my packet ready here. Um, we have three students from First Flight High School. Um, we have Ms. Carly Metcalf, Anastasia Ruff, and Mary Brogan uh, that are here. Uh, they have selected for their civics class project to look at the bomb track and do a proposal for us. And uh, so welcome, ladies. Hi. Um, I'm Anastasia Roddy, and this is Carly Metcalf, and Mary Brogan couldn't be here today, but she's in our group yep. for the project. She'll be here in spirit. All right. <laughs> so, so this all started like with our project, but we wanted to do something because a couple months ago I went to Parks and Rec during the winter. It was like right before Christmas break, and I was not allowed to... Uh, and all the gates were like locked up. We all the, the soccer cages were locked up, so we couldn't get on any of the fields. And that's that was the whole point. We had a picnic, and we really just wanted to be able to go and do that. But we were not allowed to do it because they didn't want them to tear up the fields. So that's when we came up. The, so the civics project kind of just played into our idea. We were like, oh, this could totally work. We could have a proposal to make new fields, and that's where our bomb track, where the bomb tracks going to come into play. <coughs> So then we came up with the uh, idea for the multi-purpose fields that would be open year-round so that um, people could play in the off-season because I know a lot of people want to practice and they want to do things and some people, I know I play soccer and I'll go all the way up to Virginia Beach sometimes because the fields down here will be closed. Well then. <laughs> Technology is and I play I play volleyball, basketball, and softball, so I definitely get my sports in. And um, I I really would enjoy to have something like this, especially an outdoor volleyball court, because I there's nowhere to play volleyball except for in so, in somewhere. And um, and it'd be awesome to have something like this. I'm really pressing down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like we said. Our goal is to have an operational field for a year round for everyone to come and they can play. And we would include a volleyball, um, a football, and soccer field, which would be the size of a football field. But we'd have goals um, on the side, uh, soccer goals on the side, so that they, people can move them onto the field, like they have at the Nags Head field, so that it's a multi purpose field. And then we also have a batting cage. Originally, we were thinking of doing a baseball field, but we kind of figured out how how expensive that was. It was kind of just like, well, but there's a we figured out later that you could also go on to. We have a couple fields that you can go on to, like in uh, you can go into the ones on in Kitty Hawk at Kitty Hawk Elementary School. Those ones are always open, so that's where we came up with the idea for a batting cage because we thought, wow, you can do just as much, and you can bring your own gloves, and then. A batting cage would be just as well because that's the problem is hitting straight balls because if you're really good then you can hit it really far so that's where it comes into play. Um, the resources needed are basically like the basics of what you need to play the sport which would be soccer goals, a volleyball net, a storage shed to put all the equipment in and we were thinking uh, to have the community involved, we could have the first flight high school construction students that always, I always see, we always see them building the um, buildings. I don't exactly know exactly the bookshelves what and the stuff projects like are, but <laughs> outside my art class, they'd always they would be building this huge um, house. It looks like, and we were thinking that we could have them as a project build the shed, the storage shed for it, so we'd only have to pay for the cost of materials, and it would have other people involved in it and porta potties so that people can stay there longer than just you know their need <laughs> <laughs> and some uh, benches so that if people want to actually have a full on scrimmage and game they can sit or parents can sit and watch their kids the batting cage and a pitching machine um, so the long term maintenance and the personnel required so the things that we thought were going to be necessary were the annual annual fertilization and aeration of the fields, uh, the mowing, and then to be able to have games, you have to have lines painted, and then 
as time goes on, things are going to get torn up. So then, of course, you have to have repairs and then the ground maintenance just to take care of the grasses and all this type of thing. So we figured we wouldn't need, it wouldn't be that costly to maintain it since it's a year-round thing and we could hire, it would be hire one or two people to mow the field every week or so that needs to be mowed and take care of the field. Um, the cost and payment, the estimated cost is about 4100 We did a basic uh, average of all the costs, so we, um, we researched all of the average, the, all the costs of each item, and we found the like average around amount of it, and then we added those together, but that's not including the materials of the shed, because I guess that varies in the type of shed and everything we're that we're they need. And then the cost for the upkeep would be the payment for the personnel, which would be average payment, I guess. And for oh. how we could pay for it, I know at the last meeting, you uh, everyone talked about there's a parks and rec recreational fund or there's a recreational fund for that was eighty thousand dollars I believe and that could be used and if that can't we can just have donation donations or we can fundraise or something because four thousand one hundred it's not that much money considering everything that I can do for the community and all of that. Especially with like being in high school you see what kind of things people do and I think this would be one more thing that could do like Kids could be like, okay, let's go and let's go play some volleyball. It would keep, or let's go throw the ball around. It would just keep them more occupied to keep them out of trouble or more focused on their school so that, or focused on their sports so they can go and practice and get that much better. And with the teams that want to use it, we thought to maintain some kind of revenue with it. We could have teams who wanted to use the field for a whole season. They could schedule times that they want so that they own those the field for that much and they pay a hundred dollar fee for the season. So there's just another field for teams to play on if they need it. Okay, so the benefits we saw was it's the only sports field that are, is open year round in Kill Devil Hills. Um, it keeps adolescents, like I said, focused on their sports and it keeps them more out of the trouble so they can be more focused. And it gives um, another recreational activity. Because you always hear everyone here saying that, oh, there's nothing to do in the winter, there's nothing to do ever. It's just another thing to do. <laughs> and uh, it can attract more people to the area to use the fields and they could uh, benefit the community as, as a whole. Because I know like a lot of uh, tourists come down here and like they want to do something besides go to the beach, this could give them something to do. It could just be like, oh, let's go play some ball or just something entertaining. That's, That's it. The end. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. If you'll wait, uh, wait right there, and just in case anyone has any questions or comments for you. So, do you have any questions or comments? I, uh, I, I've chaired the uh, bomb track uh, study committee, and uh, we're we have an, a uh, a contractor working on some ideas for it right now, and I'm going to uh, contact the assistant town manager, and. Um, discuss with him and see if maybe we can, uh, this was not in the original uh, proposal, but see if it can be fit in someplace and maybe that uh, the contractor can lay aside a little bit of land that maybe this could work. Yeah, because I know you guys are talking about having that Frisbee golf and there's a lot of other proposals, but we worked out and it would basically, uh, with the fields and the area around the fields, it would only uh, take up five and a half acres, which isn't a lot compared to the 44 acres that is there. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your presentation, and uh, we'll follow up on it for sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you for selecting our town for your civics project. It's nice to have you guys come present. So thank you.